Hello everyone, um, so I wanted to share a little bit about this learning in the merit and in, in this merit Chaya Adina Malka Bas Chana should have a refua Shlema um, a, a refua that is Nyatsa, that is desired by God um, and in many ways um, what we're saying is that Whatever said there we do, um, and we under, you understand why I say that, um, based on this fast MS, whatever said there we do, we want to go through a process that is desirable for God. And that desirable process will is what brings the healing. So, um, this is a piece from the Svas MS. And I will do my best to try to convey um, what he's saying. I'm not going to go in the text itself because it's going to take too long. But I hope that I'll be able to express what the Swasemes and the Maharal that he brings um, is really trying to teach us. So he's teaching us that we call Leil Haseder, right? The, the, the Passover Seder, the night of the Seder, and that really days um, throughout our Galus, whether is the steps necessary to go out of Galus, um, or whether it's the, the Seder, the step necessary for our redemption, meaning in, in a, in a time of goodness or in time of difficulties everything is made since the beginning based on the seder on a, on an order whether is derech ateva or whether is derech nisim right through the laws of, through the laws of nature through a step by step process just like we had on purim where it didn't look like there was um, it looks like it was scary, it was, looks like it was, um, God was not involved in the Hashgacha practice in every step of the way, but the truth is, everything was, as Mordechai said, put in place for us to see that there is a center, that God is involved, and that we can uh, decide to participate, be active participant, or to be uh, obser uh, observers. So, whether it is the laws of nature, whether it is through Nisim, so Hanukkah and Purim, in a way, brings all that together, uh, it's saying, the Sassimus is saying that we need to understand that even whatever Hashem makes us go through, right? So, Abraham, Hashem told Abraham, this is what's going to happen, you know, 400 years in exile, da, 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 and at the end, that's exactly what happened, of course, because Hashem said so, and we end up being saved. Everything from the time of Abraham till Har Sinai was all part of the Seder. So we might think, oh, you know, we're in Galus and it's hard and it's difficult and you have this problem and this problem. All those problems were put there on purpose for us to be able to understand something, understand the lesson, connect to God, the darkness was necessary to find a certain light hidden in the darkness and rely more on God and attach ourselves to Hashem and through all that we were able to see the miracle and even the miracle were step by step in order, we have the 10 makos, 10 steps and finally we uh, are able to be free and end up in a place of Nirza, a place where Hashem, we achieved what you desired. So it, it is a bit fascinating because it's, it's um, telling us that everything we go through is part of a specific setter that Hashem has in mind. And... Um, it's really how our everything depends on our perspective on how we look at it and how we're going to react 
um, and how we're going to rejoice and understand every step of the way. Are we able to say, even in the moment of darkness, when we're, when we're crying, when we're screaming, when we're angry, when we're in pain, are we able to say and recognize that this was also necessary? It's as if to say, I'm going to surgery and that surgery is necessary. Everybody recognize that when there's a surgery necessary, uh, needed, then it, it is good to go to surgery. Is it painful? Yes. Is it, you know, are you happy to have a surgery? No. But this, you, on, on the bigger, when you see the bigger picture, when you see the set there, you're able to see that all that um, really can be experienced as good um, maybe not in the moment, but at least after. And that's uh, basically what we celebrate on the night of Pesach. And um, and we, we on the Seder night, we are saying, we are trying to uh, go through that Seder that sometimes doesn't make sense. We don't understand the order, all that. And we come at the end and say, whether we did it right or wrong, whether we were be able to fulfill all 15 steps of the Seder in this way or that way, at the end, I come and I say, Nirza, Hashem um, has accepted that already. I have gone through a Seder and that is desired by God and every step of the way, every difficulty, every disappointment and every uh, good part that happened in my Seder night is really exactly what Hashem desired. It was part of the process. It was part of um, the ways that all the ways that Hashem has put. Uh, and he mentioned many times miuchad, meaning that all the, all the, those paths are all interconnected, uh, all leading to the ultimate uh, ratzon Hashem, which is niyatsa. Ratzon is niyatsa. So. Um, I think it's a very powerful lesson um, to, to, that we can use all the time in our life. The more we realize that our entire life is one long big set there, and then we have the ability to feel that Hashem is part of that set there, that's part of the Emunan Bitachon, and, um, and that even our mistake, as we are, we have the Pasha Kitisa, which shows us that, uh, as the Gemara says, that the reason they sin, even though this says the Erev Rav, all that, but at the end the Gemara says that Hashem had planned the, for the Jewish people to sin with the golden calf, because thanks to that sin of the golden calf, we um, are able to see the tremendous Rachamim and love of Hashem, that even though if an entire nation makes a mistake, God is ready to forgive. Not only that, God is show, able to show us His tremendous love for us, um, uh, even if we don't deserve it, even if we we fall um, on the deepest level, on a level of similar to Abu Dazara, Hashem still wants us. Ratzon, Hashem wants the, us to come back to do teshuva and to see the tremendous love and mercy that he has for us. Um, so that's a, a perfect blend between the Parsha and Nirza. Um, and obviously there's no coincidence. We said there's a set of Parshas and that happens before, um, before Pesach, all those Chanukah, Purim, Parshas Kifisa, uh, all that is a preparation for the ultimate Geula, um, so that this year our Seder becomes completely Nyatsa desired. And the more we feel in our hearts that this is what Hashem had desired, and we have done as much as we could on our own level of understanding with the mistakes and the good deeds, then we will be able to merit true freedom and the rebuilding of the temple with Moshiach and the revelation of Hashem. Shabbat Shalom, everyone.